Hi everyone, long time no see again, as usual. I've got quite a big update. I haven't done one for a while, so they've been stacking up, and I've still got some coming in, so it'll be an ongoing thing, but part one is going to be just still books because I've got enough to do, get them all out of the way. And I actually filmed this this part of the update ages ago, and then I got another still book, then I found another still book and b before I uploaded it, and yeah, I just thought, I'm just going to do it again. So here we are, and the first one is not very good. It's uh, 2012. I saw this on HMV, and it was 4 99 so I thought I'd just pick it up, but I really didn't like the movie. I thought it was trash. I like the back of this still book. It's pretty plain, but um, no logos. Yay. Uh, it's just some crap, and it's got inside artwork, which is nice. It's just the DVD, not the Blu-ray. If you wanted to watch this film, probably Blu-ray would be the way to go, but I'm probably never going to watch the film again. I just thought, still book, 4 99 I'll get it. So that's that one, and then the next one is a HMV exclusive. It's the Karate Kid, and once again, no logos. I was so excited when I found that out. It's a really nice design as well. Funny thing is, though, I don't know if you can notice, but the film is called The Karate Kid, and there's no the. And I haven't checked if uh, the regular Blu ray and DVD say that or the other. Still books from around the world. It might just be HMV's screw up, but I thought that was uh, kind of funny. Some people are annoyed about it, but this film, uh, I love the original Karate Kid, so I really didn't think I would like it. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun, and Jaden Smith, you know, you can't deny how hard he worked, and he's quite cute. There he is. Cool inside artwork, and that was on the back. And then you have the Blu-ray and the DVD combo pack. So that is a nice set. And oh, quite a while ago, I won. If you could see, there, I won that and some other stuff. I got like a sweatband and badges. Um, but this is the head bandana. I won that in a film quiz. See the Karate Kid. I got from Canada, they were quite pricey in the end and I got customs on it but hey, I love them and I love them so much I want to get like a separate display for them. I'm running out of steelbook um, space, well space everywhere really but my steelbook shelf there's just no, no more steelbooks going on there. But yeah the first one, Shaun of the Dead, how cool is that cover? That is just awesome and one of my favourite films and I got this like three weeks ago and I've watched this Blu-ray two times since then. That is unheard of for me. Um, I've watched this film about 15 times anyway. I, I just cannot get bored of it and I, I usually am pretty bad at re-watching films. It would take me like a year, a couple of years to get around to watching films that I've bought, but I felt like watching this when I got it. So yeah, and then yesterday my friend came round and she wanted to watch a film and she was like, what film should we watch? And I was like, she's not seen Shaun of the Dead, she's got to see Shaun of the Dead. Anyway, yeah, enough talking about it, it's just amazing. Cool artwork, got Ed there, you got the, the cool disc. And there is Sean. I got this on DVD twice and on HD DVD, but I never watched the HD DVD. So yeah, I didn't get Hot Fuzz. Really disappointed. I th I kind of ordered as many as I could afford, and I, I didn't know if I'd ordered Hot Fuzz, and it came, and I didn't. So I should really get that to go with this. But I, I just love that cover, and the fact there's no ratings logos on it. If this was a UK release, the rating logos would have messed it up. Then I got No Country for Old Men, which I already have a steelbook DVD of, the HMV exclusive that came out a while ago. 
that was nice but I really liked this cover uh, it's kind of like that cover in the sense that it's just got um, the bad guy with his weapon although Sean is the hero with his weapon but whatever uh, but it's got this you can't stop what's coming and then the title is kind of right below it so almost wish that wasn't there but not complaining it's really nice and look at the back that is sort of the si a similar cover to the UK still book and they're released by Alliance and they're on Oakland Getaways haven't watched this on Blu-ray yet haven't watched this film since it came out I watched it then the back uh, yeah it's pretty sweet and then I got Sin City love this cover as well Rosario Dawson, Dawson there I have the Sin City Region 1 box set with the graphic novel in it as well the UK has a still book, um, just a plain black extended edition still book. But I always preferred the Region 1 set to the still book. But now I've got this still book and the cover is just amazing. I have <laughs> Everything I've bought, apart from the first two, I think I've own, I already own about ten times. So my argument back in the day that I wasn't going to rebuy everything on Blu-ray has just gone out the window. And I'm not buying it rebuying it because it's blu-ray I'm buying it for the bloody packaging that is my problem you know me and then that is a really cool back cover and whoops there's a disc coming out two discs got artwork in the back all the characters and just checking this it says restored theatrical version. I'm not entirely sure if this... I don't think it's got all the features of the Region 1 one. I don't know. I will have to look into it. Gangs of New York. I do own this on regular DVD, but I've never watched it. I've not watched it yet. It's got Leonardo there. Piercing blue eyes. Which goes with the banner. So, yeah, I need to watch that. Call back. These are just some of the best design steelbooks I've ever seen. Cool disc. Um, yeah, and there's still more that I haven't got. I've got quite a few, but I've not got all of them. It just costs quite a lot to get them over here. Um, Memento. Yeah, I own that a couple of times as well. I own it on... Region 1 in the cool, like, file-like packaging, and I own it in the three-disc UK set. So, Memento. I like this cover as well. This cover, when you look on the website, it kind of looks a bit understated compared to, whoops, the others, but this, this Memento is kind of raised, like, embossed, and it's got some memories are best forgotten. And then him on back. And then the di uh, the disc. So yeah, that's cool. They're really cold. It's so cold. Finally, one that I didn't own previously: A History of Violence. And I love this cover as well. Are you surprised? Just that image is really cool. Go to the film. Yeah, I've seen this film. I watched it last year actually for the first time. I really liked it, but I I've never bought it on DVD. So, what better time than ever? The disc, the picture, and kind of like that, just a continuation there. Lovely. And then the uh, creme de la creme here, the ones that are my favourites for the films mostly. Kill Bill, Volume 1. Kill Bill Volume 2, of course. Look at those bad boys. So, you know that I own Kill Bill quite a few times, but I do not own it on Blu ray. So, an interesting thing about this is it came, it was sealed from Amazon, 
no disc inside. But I got onto them and they sent one straight out immediately. This is actually the, f the first one. The new one is there. I don't know if you can see it. It's not going to stay there. I just put it up there when I got it. First got it. So, yeah, they. I think they want that one back. They said they want it back. But I can't be bothered right now. When they send like a final warning, like they're going to take some money out for it, I'll send it back. But I'm a rebel. Kill Bill Volume 2. It's the bride. I'll drive her there. Not watched them on Blu ray yet. I think there's Bill. I think that's um that needs to be done. So yeah, that's it. That's that is all of the still books for this update. Really need to get some extra shelving up for for those still books because they're just like lying on the floor at the moment and that's not good. They just look too darn good to be sitting on the floor. But anyway, that is the end of part one. Part two will be up when I get it up. <laughs> and I've got quite a few cool um, things in that as well. So thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, I went to Bruges the weekend before last. And I've managed to find one DVD shop. I actually bought another DVD as well, a Blu-ray as well, but it's not a still book. And I saw this, and it's actually, it was actually really cheap, so I bought it. I didn't have much else to spend money on. So, yeah, this is from Belgium. And I think you can get this steelbook in other countries, too. And this is the same cover as the UK slipcover, but it's obviously a steelbook. Um, and there's a UK steelbook, which I actually prefer, which is just, like, silver... With the gladiator mask. That's actually pretty cool. But anyway. Saw this for cheap. And I thought. Oh. Got to buy that. So yes. There it is. Pretty nice. Open it up. There's two discs. And it does have artwork on the inside. Woo. So yeah.